Okay guys, so I just wanna show you, I was at the Apple store. I didn't really feel like filming when I was in there because I just didn't really want to, but I actually just got the new MacBook, the 14 inch, and I'm not gonna lie, initially, I didn't wanna get it. I was very hesitant to buy it because it um, doesn't have the touch bar and that's what I really, really wanted. So anyways, I will, I will unbox this and show you guys later, but Yes, I'm currently at the mall right now, and that's what I got. And I also picked up an Apple Watch, the newest Apple Watch, because I had a credit from trading in my other Apple Watch, and then I also traded in my other MacBook Pro. I mean, it sounds better than it is, to be perfectly honest with you. It sounds like, oh my god, you traded it and you got money, but the money that you get, honestly, the money that I got toward this was only $380, and that was pretty much like taken up and pointless, because getting Apple Care, which is an investment and worth it, is like 299 but I understand from like a business standpoint it sounds like a very crazy price initially that people don't want to pay the upfront cost so they opt for paying things monthly and depending on a, a people's situation that may be best for them but you're paying more if you're paying for anything monthly as opposed to just paying the initial startup cost so that's just a fun fact and I will unbox a little later for you guys. So this is what it looks like on. I have not set it up yet, literally at all, but this is what it looks like. And it comes with two bands. One is uh, the small medium, which is what I chose. And then the other one comes with a medium large band. So I'm going to leave this here. I always keep the original packaging of everything that I have. This is the new charger, so I'll put this on the side. Um, if you guys don't know, um, Apple doesn't like give you wall plugs anymore. I don't know why. They only give you like the USB part of their devices, and um, they've pretty much changed all of the charging ports for all their new devices, and I pretty much have, now that I'm thinking about it, all the new Apple products that there are unintentionally so I have the iPhone 13 the new MacBook the new desktop the new laptop and the new Apple watch so um, all of the the charging ports have changed I'm pretty sure that lady was explaining to me that the same USB port that is used for my laptop can also help to charge this I don't know it's kind of late and I'm like kind of losing my mind right now anyways so I'm going to continue to set up my Apple Watch and then later on I will actually do an unboxing of this big baby. One thing that I will say that is a con and probably the only con that I can tell you right off the bat is I was a little disappointed with how heavy it is. Like my old MacBook Pro was very sleek and pretty light. It was a 13 inch. This is the brand new M1 um, MacBook Pro in the 14 inch. I did not want to get the 16 inch because the 16 inch not only would be heavier, but it's also very large. And I realized that even though I love new and big things or whatever, like it just for me wasn't necessary for me to get the 16. I actually really do like the, com the compactness of the 13 and the 14. So this was pretty much good enough for me and also a size up from the 13, but it is noticeably heavier than my previous MacBook Pro, but I'm hoping that of course with the M1 chip or whatever it is, that it makes a significant difference in terms of speed and things like that. But if you guys remember MacBooks from when we were like younger, it has that same sort of feel of being like a young, being like an older MacBook sort of thing. And I don't know, I feel like that's the style that like Apple has went with because even the desktops remind me of the old desktops that used to that used to exist back in like, I don't know, when I was in like second grade and stuff like that. So I'm so excited to do this. Okay, so just random little, I guess, like book haul situation. My dad like is obsessed with like stores that have a lot of different gadgets and things. So there's a store that has like everything in the... Well, everything in the store is like $7.99, so I bought like a bunch of books, 
because you guys know, or if you don't know, I love to read. Um, he actually personally gave me this one out of his office, so this one doesn't count, but I got a bunch of books. Um, I don't, I'm not familiar with any of these really besides the Engine 2 Diet, which, uh, it's basically like a health book. Everything I read is pretty much personal development or like holistic nutrition. So yes, I picked up a bunch of these books and I also got this like random little cheap spray because I'm not kidding when I tell you guys I love fragrance and anything hygiene and I don't care how much it costs. I will get the most expensive one and I'll buy the cheapest one too. I just like it just to have and then there, this lip gloss actually is from like a 99 cent store. My dad picked me up another one and it is so glossy and shiny and I really like it to just throw in my bag because it's a great lip gloss and it also, I finished the first one that I had so I have another one and it also is just very small and compact and um, super shiny as well. So I got another one of these. Now let's go unbox the goods. Okay, Angel, so I know in the last or the previous clip, I don't even know if I'm going to include it or not, but I showed you guys that I set up my Apple Watch. Now, this is a brand new watch, again, that I got today as I'm recording this. Why? Because when I was setting up the Apple Watch that I showed you guys initially, I realized that it was the 41 millimeter, and I was wondering why, when I showed you guys what it looked like on my wrist, why it looks so tiny. And I realized that it was even smaller than the Apple Watch that I had prior, which was 42. So the new 7 Series only comes in 41 and 45, I believe. So I went to the store and I basically paid the difference, which was, I kid you not, like $32. And I got the same exact watch except in the biggest size that they have, which I am so happy about because originally this morning when I went into the mall near me, they did not have any in stock and they also didn't know when they were gonna have any new ones and there was only one mall, which was kind of far away from me that I ended up driving to after church and I was like, God, please, if it's your will, please let there be this watch waiting for me when I get there and uh, the Lord said, Aisha, I got you. So I picked up the same one, but in a bigger size and I'm gonna set that up and I'm so excited because guys, Having an Apple Watch really does motivate you to work out. I feel like I've been slacking on my workouts because I haven't been able to track it. It taught me two things. It taught me staying in the moment and why it's important to not get caught up in how much you're burning and things like that. But also, now that I've passed that test and I've worked out without focusing on the calories, yada, 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 I would like to know the stats of how many calories I'm burning and things like that. It's just, oh, it's so nice to have this again. And oh, this baby that you guys have been waiting for. I've like showed you guys a million clips of me having this around and not really opening it. Oh my God, here she is. I need to put this on my tripod instead of trying to do this with one hand. I don't know what I think I'm doing. Oh my gosh. Mm, so excited. I mean, honestly, I said this before, I will say this again. I really do wish that Apple like came out with a slimmer version. I don't know if it has to do with the speed, why they're not making it as slim. They made this kind of like the old type of MacBook. It's like significantly heavier than the previous one that I had. And I would really hope that when they come out with a new MacBook Pro, which I don't think they do often, I don't know. I don't, I'm usually only into the phones and stuff like that. I would really hope that they don't um, come out with the exact same like specs of being fast and this M1 chip and make it slimmer. I would be very, very upset because now I feel like they're just like doing things for cash grabs. Like what is next? Like creating a phone that you have to purchase like another, like uh, you have to purchase calling people as an additive. Like it's getting ridiculous. Like it started with the iPhone jack situation and they changed all the adapters. Like. At, like, it's it's ridiculous, you know what I mean? And this is coming from someone that loves Apple products. I'm an Apple girl, but it's gonna really, really irritate me because last MacBook I had, which I loved, that had the touch bar, 
literally was like my favorite. And I remember when I initially had an older MacBook when I was in college, I never wanted to carry it around because it was so heavy. So when I got that new newer MacBook, which was I think in like, honestly, I wanna say 2016, that was literally like five years ago, the touch bar originally came out, I believe. That's how long I had my previous MacBook that was in immaculate condition and it just stopped working and didn't have enough storage on it. So I figured why not just get this one instead of getting um, another 13 inch, why not go up a little bigger? But I also don't want the 16 inch because that is actually just as heavy, just like this, without any of this new stuff, I believe. Anyways, let's open it. Okay, I know people, the professionals, I guess, have the overhead sort of angle, maybe one day I will learn. But I am so excited because the other day, guys, I actually freaked out because I wanted to watch Netflix and I never watch TV, even though I have a TV in my room. I never watch TV and I was, I usually just use my laptop and then I remembered, oh my gosh, I didn't set it up yet. And I didn't want to open this without setting it up yet, so. This is what it looks like. This is in the space gray, and it says MacBook, oh, that was upside down. It says MacBook Pro, it's engraved over here. Um, yes, I got the space gray shade, just because I feel like it looks way more expensive than the lighter um, gray shade. I don't know, I like the way this looks. It looks more like sophisticated and sleek. Again, like, does this not remind you guys of the white laptops that were out when we were in elementary school and they used to put them like on the carts and stuff like that for computer class? Does anyone remember that or is it just me? So, ooh, it's fresh. As you can see, this does not have a touch bar, which I was initially very upset about, but apparently I was told by an Apple, an Apple representative that the the touch bar was not really a hit. Like a lot of people weren't a fan of the touch bar, which I find unfathomable because I certainly was. I loved having the touch bar. Just like when you wanna turn up the volume, you kinda of do a little slide. Or if you wanna to go to a website, I can see it and just press Netflix instead of like going to the, I don't know, that's, that's just me. English is the main language. Oh. Press the return key. Ooh, English, yeah, we love it. Anyways, I'm gonna set this up, guys, and I'm also gonna set up my uh, Apple Watch. I love the packaging that everything comes in now. Like, I really genuinely do. It's just, everything is just, mm, I'm loving it. Yep, mm-hmm. So, you know what we're gonna do with this? We're gonna start over fresh, we're gonna start over new. So it's saying, do I want to transfer information i'm gonna say not now i'm gonna genuinely set this up as a brand new imac this is why i love apple products they're not easy to just you can't just like get into it you gotta have the phone you gotta have the this the that you know it's very secure i like it i swear it literally takes like a, it's a skill set to like unbox things and like I, I, I've, I've accepted the fact that I'm just not an unboxer Maybe that's what's going on because not only do I not have the right angle. It's just it's extremely Cumbersome for me to or convoluted I should say for me to try and figure this whole thing out. It's overwhelming for me anyways the first app that I downloaded when I set up my Mac is Final Cut and yes, I have an editor, but I always try to make it as easy as possible to work with me. So I, instead of just sending him a bunch of clips, I'm going to compile it into one long like video and then send that to him so that everything is not only sequential, which the files are numbered anyway, but everything is sequential and it just is easier that way than like trying to send like 16, 20 different clips and it just makes it more easy and concise and organized that way. So right now I'm just opening up the band. So 
So, gonna take the small one out. Get Apple Care on your devices. I know the upfront costs may seem very like crazy, but trust me, it's always worth it to get Apple Care whenever you're getting um, a new device because it's it's worth the investment. It really, really is, especially the more pricey an item is. But really, to me, all their items are pricey. So, And, you know, one thing I do love about Apple is, for instance, I've had Final Cut Pro for years, years, and it cost $300. Now, that $300 investment that I made in, like, 2016 is still lasting me all the way right now until... I probably had Final Cut Pro actually earlier. I probably had Final Cut Pro in 2012, to be perfectly honest. And it's still lasting me right now. And it's a forever thing. You, it's a one-time purchase of $299.99. And any time, like right now, you sign into um, iCloud and you restore your purchase. But um so it's so worth it. I am so in love with the this Apple Watch. See, the face is so much bigger than it was on the other one. Mm, loving it. And even though this is a silver shade, I almost feel like it matches the band. It almost looks like a champagne sort of color to me. That's what it looks like. I love that. Oh, I'm so excited. Now I feel so motivated to work out and stuff. I feel really, really motivated to like use, like actually use this. Let's try her on. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. This is what it looks like. Do you see how much bigger that is? Like I feel like the other one that I had, which was the 41, it was making my wrist look so large and in charge. I couldn't even deal. This, I actually like that it's so humongous. I mean, if it were like a dress watch, like I don't know, like a nice like, piece that you would wear with your clothing, then I wouldn't get a face that's this big. Who knows, maybe I might, maybe I would, who knows. I'm obsessed, so I'm gonna set this up and I have not ate anything in such a long time. But it's probably like 7.30 now and I forgot that I made earlier some, like yesterday I made vegan meatballs with vegan parm, vegan Caesar dressing from Trader Joe's and like these canela beans from Trader Joe's as well. I don't know, I like whipped this up literally yesterday and I was so happy that I have this. And then for dessert, I'm gonna have some fruit. Um, if you have sensitive digestion, you always wanna eat raw food before you eat cooked food because it can cause like bloating and indigestion, but that's for another video. But a lot of you guys are always asking me like, what do you eat, what do you eat? Yes, this is not that aesthetic of a plate or whatever the case is. I just figured, hey, this is like a real day of what I'm like living. I don't, sometimes I wanna like put it on a nice plate, but this time I was just throwing it together because I have so much I have to get done because I'm actually going to Jersey in two days. So I have to get as much done that I'm supposed to get done out here before I go to Jersey. And I also wanna wash two of my wigs that I wanna have as options for when I'm there. So that's what I'm doing currently right now. And I usually eat it on this like little like table thing, which is really cool because beneath it is like this material. So you don't get like your legs don't get cold. I don't know. And I'm waiting for my sheets to dry and then I'm going to put in another load of laundry. The time is currently probably around noon. My little tree is here. I love this little thing. I still haven't taken the tag off of it yet, but I woke up today with so much on like my mind in like the best way, meaning things that I want to plan and get done today. So today's going to be a very productive day. I woke up this morning and despite my aspirations to have an extremely productive day, I still hesitated a little bit to get out of bed, but nonetheless, it's still gonna be extremely productive. This is another um, little meal. It's not really little, to be perfectly honest with you. It's pretty much like a big bowl of pineapple, which is my favorite fruit. I eat pineapple legitimately almost every day. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. And I love uh, green melon. For some reason, these go very good with my stomach, like in the morning time or as a first meal 
whenever I eat watermelon in the beginning of the day. I don't know why it gives me extreme cramping. Um, so it can't be the first meal that I eat out of the day or I get very bad cramps in my stomach for about like five minutes and then I'm fine, but it's extremely uncomfortable. And these, I just, I don't feel anything. I'm also drinking dandelion tea. I'm also gonna buy some dandy blends, which I'll show you guys when it gets to my house, but it's a coffee alternative and it's way more healthy. In fact, it is healthy. It's not even more healthy, it is healthy, period. And I have to drop off my wigs. This is so funny, guys, but this hair that I have here, I love the coloring of it. It reminds me of my red wig. Now, believe it or not, this is actually synthetic hair, and I'm dropping off two of my units to my hairstylist so that she can do a little work on them. And I was going, I have over maybe 40 wigs that I own, and out of that 40, I would say about three of them are synthetic, so I must have bought this sometime last year never wore it i'll probably have this made into a real wig but look at the color grade on that guys it's so dimensional and when my other two wigs are done with like my real hair that i get from bichet you guys will see it but this is like kind of the style i'm going to be going for today so this is the hat and then this is, these are like the curls they're already pre-styled again it's synthetic and i am returning this hair that i got over here well not returning it but i'm like sending that off for like review for something and then this is hair that i kind of just put in this like bag which actually had the synthetic wigs in them and i'm going to have my hairstylist do work on that and this is oh my gosh guys okay so this is one of the three neoprene type of bags i think these are trending right now or at least as i'm recording this currently these types of bags are trending and i don't know i really really love the style of it like i just love that it's so i don't know i feel like it just looks very like cute and like nice and in addition to that it has this little see this little side pocket thing that just hangs out the side that looks like this i really really like it um and i also love anything neoprene so i'm sure i've said this to you guys before so this is pretty much my work bag i have lysol wipes i usually go and do things at starbucks because i work from home you know like my little desk station over here and then this is where I usually record my podcasts and things like that, which are over here. So, I don't know. I've been all over the place so much, though, so, guys, that my whiteboard is empty, and it is currently the 15th. And I have the first two weeks not written on my whiteboard because they're written in my phone. I've been, for some reason, struggling to keep everything cohesive the way that I normally do. I'm not struggling with it anymore as of yesterday, but... I wasn't consistent with my calendar. I was only consistent with writing things down, but not consistent with my whiteboard, putting it in my planner on good notes, and also uh, I was only keeping everything just on my notes on my phone. So that's my little station. I wanted to drop by Best Buy today because I wanted to see if by chance they had my phone in blue because I'm realizing that I really do enjoy the color baby blue for some reason. Of course I love pink, but I don't know. Baby blue to me seems a little bit more mature yet still very girly. Like I really like my, I love my desktop computer. So I packed everything away already. So that when I go to work at Starbucks, I have to mail this off, get dressed, eat, and then I also have to put this in the mailbox for of my hair stylist so that she can have this done for me by Wednesday morning because back over here on the night of the 17th I'm going to one of my best friends house Haley you guys already know who she is and I will be with her till Saturday and then my daddy's banquet is on the 21st and then I will be back with Haley on Saturday or the night of the 26th I'm not sure and then I'll be back in New York on the 30th so in which I have a sleepover with my friend Mary Kate until the first, which is December. This is why this has to be filled out and I will actually fill it out. It's actually perfect. It's like it was meant to be that I didn't fill it out because you guys get to watch me do it. I know I get so many requests on how to do planning stuff. We're doing it all in these vlogs, I should say. So yes, I'm gonna go to Best Buy to see if they have my phone in blue, cause then I could just trade it in right when I'm there and then like get ready and get all these things done. Okay, so this is my makeup look for right now, the time is only 2.39. I don't know if it's the daylight savings thing, but it feels 
so much later. I mean, given that we get pushed back an hour, it would only technically be 3.39, which is a huge difference, but it feels like genuinely like it's almost like 5 p.m. for whatever reason. Also, it doesn't help that it's super like gray outside. It has been like that since Saturday pretty much, but I am loving this look, guys. Look at my hair. I love this color. Again, you guys saw in the previous clip that this is literally a synthetic wig. Now, I put this hat on because if you know, you know, it's like an accessory when one, I'm not gonna sit here and like actually style the front of this or whatever. And what's really nice is the hair is not going to drop because it's not even real. Now, fun fact, I have a specialty brush that I actually got from the beauty supply store. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty much like silver, like pretty, prickly type of bristles and this is actually a brush that's made for synthetic wigs because these types of wigs you have to be careful when you're brushing them because they tend to get very like frizzy and like puffy looking at the ends so this type of uh hairbrush which honestly works for any type of hair but it works even better for synthetic hair um and this is when i went through my phase where i was just experimenting with a bunch of wigs and stuff I want to get this wig made in the exact same color, but it's nice to have the versatility of synthetic wigs and regular wigs. I also have another synthetic wig that I wear like to the gym. It's like a headband wig and I really like it because it's not real and I don't have to actually wash the hair. Like it's kind of like once it's done, like it's done. So I'll wear that and I still wear like try to sweat as minimal as possible like on my hairline so it's not like gross but like sometimes I don't feel like washing my wigs when I'm working out or wearing the nice wigs like my real hair and then having to get it messed up when I'm getting sweaty and then having to style that later on in the day. I don't know, am I the only person that does this? But I'm gonna head to Starbucks right now. I'm shocked, because last time I checked in with you guys, it was like a little afternoon, and it's, I got ready pretty fast. I mean, to be honest, I didn't even try to get ready fast, literally at all. I was genuinely taking my time, and I'm like, oh, it's still like before three o'clock, so I'm going to head out now. I still did some more laundry. I don't know if you guys can really tell. I'm not even gonna even show it, but I don't even have any sheets on my bed because I'm washing all of the sheets on my bed still, so I don't wanna put anything on it. Um, you, you guys already know, and all my pillowcases. My skin was so clear the other day. Oh my goodness, my skin was so clear. Out of nowhere, which is not really that shocking. I've been drinking a lot of Diet Coke. Oh my God, it's like a skinny girl secret. And I feel like my skin has been breaking out like crazy. So if you know, if you guys could see here, I have like a pimple here. And then I think I had another one like here somewhere. So anytime you get pimples, if you know about face mapping, when you get pimples under the chin, it basically means too much sugar. Your liver is trying to process that, you know, sugar. And then I had another pimple that was like here before. But considering how clear and radiant and glowy my skin was just days ago, I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a big deal, I cannot. But anyways, I'm loving the look. I'm gonna show you guys in my other mirror, which is right over there, my OOTD. Okay, so this is my OOTD situation, guys. These jeans are like the only jeans that I honestly ever wear, which are from the brand called A Gold. Yeah, they fit me so nice. I'm genuinely obsessed with these jeans. I'm just wearing a turtleneck. I don't know about you guys, but I like fashion. I, I really do, and I will get into it even more, you know, as I, you know, evolve and like grow as an influencer. An influencer. But I love a good jean and a turtleneck. Like, I can literally wear this every single day in the same color or even like in just different shirts but essentially it's the same it's a turtleneck and a jean and maybe a beanie maybe not um this beanie is serving its purpose today hello but these jeans are the only jeans i wear these are also the only jeans i believe that i own that are ripped i don't own any jeans that are pretty much ripped so I'm gonna pair these with my Louis Vuitton heels, which are over here in the corner. Again, please ignore the fact that my bed has nothing on it right now, guys. I do not sleep like that. It's only because I'm washing my sheets and everything needs to dry. And I don't know about you guys, but sheets take so long to dry. Like I have to put my sheets in, not the ones that go directly on here, but the actual 
it's not a duvet, but whatever you use to cover with, and maybe a duvet, I don't know, or not, it literally takes forever to dry. I have to put it in the washer like for three cycles, and then you guys can see my little wig stand over there. But yes, this is the OOTD. I love it. It's so cute. I love the hair color. It's so flattering for me. And yeah, I'm going to head over to Starbucks. Uh, before that, I want to go head over to Best Buy because remember, I wanted to see if they can change my phone for me. I got my Apple Watch, the correct one. Look how huge it is. I, oh, I love that. It's so big. I love how huge it is. Oh, my goodness. That looks... Ooh. Wow, why is it blurry? Can we focus? I don't know. But as you guys could see, it is large and in charge, and I love it. Wait, I wanted to show you guys how this bag looks when I'm wearing it. So the reason why it's so wide over here is because I have my laptop laying flat. That's why it's giving that very wide appearance. And I don't know, I don't really care because I want the bag at the bottom to be flat anyways. There is an, uh, it comes with something to keep the place of the bag down below, and then it clips over here on the side and has this cute little bag here. Now, I feel, I feel like even though this bag can easily look very summery, I really like it with this outfit, with the jean and stuff. I feel like it kind of goes with everything aesthetically, but it does have the tendency to look a bit summery. But I do have this bag in a nice camo, which I'm sure you guys will see me wear. I came back to show you guys how cute the outfit is. Oh my God, it's so cute. With my favorite boots that I literally wear every single winter. Now, I know these socks, you guys are like, what does that say? There are these socks by this brand. I don't even know what the name of the brand is, but I kind of like this style. And it says, I'm not insulting you. I'm describing you. So I really like that. I feel so cute. Oh my gosh. This is going to be me all winter, guys. This is my fashion for the winter. I have so many things to think about that at this current juncture in my life, the last thing I have I need to think about is what I'm wearing. So this is the rule of thumb for me. It's going to, all I care about is my hair looking good. My mom always used to tell me when your hair looks good, you look good. If your hair doesn't look good, you don't look good. Even if you don't have on makeup, as long as your hair is done, that is like a statement right there. So as long as my hair is, is looking good and I might have to pick up a couple more of these, okay? Do you know what I'm saying? I have to figure out what wig this even is. I don't even know what wig this is. I'm like actually upset about it. Hopefully the tag is like inside of the cap. I don't know. And this is the season where you have to put on a nice jacket because you don't have to care about, like no one really cares about the shirts or anything like that. It's all about, depending on the length of the jacket, it's about the jean, the jacket, the accessories, the hair, and the makeup. That's my friend. Oh, and the shoes. That's what winter fashion is about, okay? Even if you have a nice jacket, hair done, doesn't matter what kind of jeans you have on, outfits set for the fall, winter. Are you picking up what I'm laying down? Let's go. No, let's actually really go this time. All right, so I just dropped off my hair to my hairstylist and then I took a picture of it and let her know that I did that. Now I'm going to go to my side of town so I can ship those things off and then I'm gonna go to Best Buy because I wanna get these like errand-like things out of the way first because they're not the most fun and to me going to Best Buy is like a little bit more fun. So I wanna get this stuff out of the way. I'm currently in my car. That's a bag. I don't know if by you guys, I'm in New York. They charge five cents for bags and I still forget to bring in bags, but they give out reusable ones, recyclable ones, and that has clothes in there that I need to get tailored. So it has been sitting in my car for quite some time now. It's embarrassing. So I just got to Best Buy, and then I realized that I think I, I left the receipt, and I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna need the... I wanted to put on my lip gloss, like redo my lips, and this is the one thing that I hate, and this only happens with certain lip liners that I have, and I try to put it in my purse. It's really bad, because the lip liner, somehow the caps come off, and then the lip liner gets everywhere, and I genuinely don't even know where that cap is, so 
there's that this is like not an expensive brand but i really like the brown that it is it's almost red brown which for some reason looks very good with this hair color this is by the brand called revolution and it is honestly i found it in ulta i have a pet peeve for when makeup is really messy like you know how usually they say girls have like really messy makeup or like really messy cars I have neither I do not like when makeup is messy it I don't like when anything is messy it bothers me so that situation just bothered me and I'm going to uh, put on my Charlotte Tilbury I love Charlotte Tilbury guys it is such a classy amazing brand with the perfect type of nude shades so this lip gloss is the pillow talk which is my favorite collection putting this on on the lips and it smells good it smells like mint and I really love the, the shade that it is I had the lipstick on I have the lipstick on in my bag right now but I don't know I'm pretty sure they're gonna need the receipt of proof of purchase I'm hoping that the guy that normally helps me out the sales associate that he's in there right now to see if to see if we can finagle something because let me tell you something if you were good or close with someone that works at any establishment you're in the gold you know when I initially got my iPhone I know this is first world problems and it doesn't even matter but I love getting a new anything new in technology I love but especially the new phones so when the new phone initially came out it wasn't available in the color that I wanted they told me that everything was sold out and when you order things online it's like for instance when I got my Apple watch right you guys saw like I got that done literally yesterday if you were to pre-order this online, it's saying that it won't get to me till December 25th. That's literally when Vlogmas is over. No, that's not going to happen. So if you know somebody or if, the, if that person really likes you, which is why it's always good to be kind, okay? It, get, it goes a long way. And the guy that helped me get my phone, the one before him... Luckily, his shift was over. He was like, oh, there's no more phones left. Sorry, you're going to have to order it. My, the guy that I know that I usually get my phone from, his shift started after, coincidentally. And he was like, I'm going to go on the truck and I'm going to see if we have a couple extra. And because he went the, for like the extra mile, that's how I was able to get my phone. And I didn't have to order it. Hello, I'm a millennial. I like instant gratification. I don't like ordering a bunch of stuff online like that. Unless it's from Amazon. Amazon packages hit different, hit different, hit different. But when it comes to, like, if you have the intention, put it like this, of going in store and buying something, you don't want to order it online. It kind of reminds me, and it's no one's fault at Sephora. I love Sephora. But it reminds me of going to Sephora, right? And they'll be sold out of an item, and I know it's their job. Trust me. I'm not upset at it. And they're like, we don't have it in stock, but I can order it for you. And I'm like... I did not come here to order it. I came here because I wanted it in my hand. I didn't want to order it. If I wanted to order it, I wouldn't have came to the store. But I get it. It's their job. They have to do this. But anyways, let's go inside and pray that we're able to finagle something and that they even have it. We'll see what we can do. I'm running in the store really quickly, right? To see if I can get this transaction done. This is a fun fact, Angels. My dad has always told me, you never leave your purse and your belongings in your front seat, ever. My back windows are actually tinted and I do have hooks in my car, like over here. And what I usually do is I'll hook my bag um, on the back of my car where my tinted windows are so I'm not putting my purse on the floor because I feel very uncomfortable leaving Basically my career is in this entire bag and I just got you know my new MacBook or whatever I don't care if the MacBook was from 1999 My career is literally in this bag and I take this type of stuff very serious Especially because I have been robbed before and it's a very scary experience the point is I'm very very particular about one, where I go, and also what I leave in my car. Aside from the physical things that I bring with me on that day, I never leave anything of true value in my car. I don't leave my registration in my car. I don't leave anything. I barely even want to leave my easy pass in my car, but I do. I never leave money in my car. Like, there's nothing in my car to take unless if you want, what, uh, some tire stuff, if I ever get pulled over, 
uh because that's in my trunk maybe i should do a car tour for you guys i don't know if you guys would want something like that and i would ask you guys if you want to see it but i'm kind of pre-filming a lot of th this footage before vlogmas so that i don't have to like fall behind so I'll probably end up just doing it anyway. Or maybe I'll just show you notable items that I think are good to have in your car. But just remember things like that. Like, don't leave valuable items at all in your car. And also, let's say you're going to step into a store like I am right now. I'm very familiar with this area. This is right near my house. It's a very safe area. Not to say bad things can't happen in safe environments. But I'm going off my intuition. I feel safe. And I'm not becoming a target and leaving my belongings like front row and center in uh, the front of my, my car. I'm not going to do that. So make sure that wherever you go that you're being safe, especially being that the holidays are approaching. You want to leave literally nothing inside of your vehicle because it's a very serious time as the holidays are approaching angels. And as you guys are watching this, the holidays are here. It's practically Christmas, and we haven't even celebrated Thanksgiving yet. Ah! Crazy. That trip lasted all of five seconds. As soon as I walked in, basically, they were on back order, so there's no way that it's even in stock for me to even get. That settles that right there. <laughs> Dang it. Because I really wanted to exchange it. I mean, it's really not the end of the world. It's not that big of a deal to me if I end up not getting the blue phone because we keep a case on it anyways all the time, but like... I have the black one, which I don't I don't really mind, but I really wanted the blue one. I really wanted the blue phone, but it's on back order until basically after Christmas. So, yeah. And I wanted to come to this one specifically because they know me here. And I highly doubt that if I go to another Best Buy that they're even going to have it. I don't know if it's just me, okay? I am the last person to take things personal, but the guy that was there actually ended up being the one that I don't really take to that much. And I was like, oh God. <laughs> but I was like, oh, whatever, like, let's see. And he was like, no, like, we don't have it. Like, they're gonna be on back order. And I almost feel like the best thing to do, if it were me, would be, but let me check if another Best Buy has it for you and we can keep that on hold and then you can exchange it. I don't know, but that's just me. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to come back another day or text um, the guy that I know here to let him know to see if there's something he can do about it. Um, it was impromptu that I decided to do this regardless, so it doesn't even matter. I'm not really disappointed. And now I'm finally off to go to Starbucks so I can finish getting everything done. And the time is currently 4.08. And it doesn't help that it's not really the most sunny outside, but whatever. I feel good. I feel great. I feel very pretty. And I'm also grateful that I did not have to style my hair because I had this wig, which is a perfect color. And it's just, I love it. Everything is just, it's giving what it needs to give. And also I started a new like morning, you know, routine where I call it my 333 morning routine, which is where for like three minutes, like, cause three is my lucky, is my lucky number. It's my life path number. It means a lot to me, the number three, or like, especially three, three, three repeating or anything in like the threes, whatever you are picking up when I'm laying down and so I figured, okay, you know when you rush in the morning and you're just like, oh, I don't have time for this, I don't have time for that. Okay, why don't I just take three minutes to write down what I'm grateful for, three minutes to visualize how I want my day to be, three minutes to, uh, you know, pray and, um, and like worship and just like meditate, um, you know, on, you know, what God wants me to do for that day or whatever the case is. Like that's the 333 method pretty much right there. And I don't know, I, it's something that I just like decided I wanted to do literally yesterday. Okay, I'm just getting my bag. You see why these hooks come in handy, right? Like they literally are perfect. I have about four more or so, but I only ever need two. And that way I can have things resting on the side and I don't have to actually put them on the floor. So into Starbucks we go. This is the Starbucks that I'm going into.
I just got off a phone call with Angie, who's one of my best friends, and I switched locations because I just didn't like the Starbucks location. First of all, it was very difficult to be in there because it was freezing cold. So all I'm eating right now is just fries because it's really the only thing that I can eat here and the only thing that I like with salsa water. I'm not doing the Diet Coke situation. We gotta clear up the skin and we gotta treat the body well. So I had fruit earlier. And now I'm having french fries now. Not the most balanced meal of the day, but I honestly have not eaten a single thing now that I'm thinking about it since you guys last saw what I ate when I was eating the pineapple and the melon because I just get super hyper-focused on what I have to do and getting ready and the last thing I'm gonna have when I'm doing these things is an appetite. So I am just eating this. And then I'm going to get back on my laptop and I'm going to upload this footage and my closing footage. And I realize I'm trying to always automate things as best as I can. So uploading all the footage as it's coming in makes it way less stressful. But Jordan and I are trying to figure out a situation where I can make it easier to send files because it's very overwhelming trying to compile the clips because I want to make things easy for him. So I'm not sending him 50 different clips separately. I might as well just send it in a cohesive video. So after tonight, I'm gonna upload this footage. I'm very, very happy with how my makeup turned out. I have a theory that my skin broke out because the day that literally I put my makeup on with my fingers, I was using Bare Minerals makeup and I'm not sure if the one I was using was non comedogenic but it made me break out. I realized that is why I actually broke out. It's because I put the makeup on with my fingers and I feel like, even though my hands were clean, I feel like the makeup, that specific one I was using, really clogged my pores. Today I'm wearing the NARS foundation in Syracuse, which is tried and true. I normally don't ever get acne when I'm wearing makeup, but that day I did with that foundation, so I won't be using it again because you only get one one chance with me, and then it's done, and it's over. By the way, I smell so good. I'm wearing Tom Ford Vanilla and Tobacco and Vanilla Woods by Seven Virtue. I'm in love. It is a lethal combo. Okay, I feel very tense today. I got off the phone for like the fourth time. Sometimes my life just happens like that where people just call me constantly. It has nothing to do with them, literally at all. It's just... Sometimes I just get very overly stimulated because I'm also simultaneously trying to get work done. So the good news is I cleared out one of my inboxes, which was to me the easiest thing to tackle to get me into the routine of it. So I've officially gone through every single email. And next I'm going to start to clear my management email where all of my like sponsorships and things like that, where that goes. It's just one of those, one of those days. And I'm actually gonna go home. It's currently, 8:56, but when I tell you it feels like it's 11 p.m. It's like crazy. So I'm gonna go home and record my podcast for Wednesday, and today's currently Monday. So I'm gonna do that so that I get ahead. All right, guys, I am heading home now. It is currently 9:53 p.m. I'm going to go home, record my podcast and send it to Jordan and then I'm officially clocking out. Today has been particularly difficult for me to focus. I'm not sure why, but at the same time I am sure why. I don't know, I kind of feel like I didn't start my morning the way that I should have initially. I don't know why I feel very drained when I literally wake up and go on my phone. Like, it is like the worst idea. Mind you, nothing happened on my phone. It, it probably isn't even that, and I'm probably thinking that it's that, but you want to take advantage of the time when you wake up so that you're not introducing yourself to foreign energy, which just simply means things like Instagram and stuff like that. Nothing happened. No one said anything to me, but I just feel like 
my morning I should have started like initially how I wanted like instead of going on my phone and then doing the 333 method that I decided to do for myself and that coupled with for some reason it being so I guess gray outside and feeling super gray outside in addition to like I was on the phone so much and like the stuff I was even talking about to me was like a little heavy. I don't know, I just feel like my energy today is just a little bit more serious and anytime my energy, it's just life, but anytime my energy is like this, it's very noticeable for me because I'm usually always in like a super like upbeat mood, you know what I mean? And, but it's life, it happens. And I think one thing that I've learned to accept is that like in my like late, like I don't know if I'm in my mid, I think I'm in my mid 20s still. 27 is that mid 20s yeah i'm in my mid 20 mid to late 20s i guess you could say and i realized i keep searching for when life is going to get i guess less busy but i've gotten so good at adapting to that schedule but i think a part of me still feels like geez like what is it going to end i'm always doing something but i realized that's just the flow of life you know as you get older you know there are things you have to do there are bills that you have to pay and that's just simply life i think the best thing about my life is i get to do what i want to do for a living and if there's one thing that i can say about myself is that i've always said that i want to be a part of that one percent that loves what they're doing right the one percent of people that love what they do i want to be a part of that percentage of people so i feel like naturally my life is aligning to go towards that direction so i'm super grateful for that there's always something to be grateful for um it's just moments like this like even my morning routine i'll do it but i won't write down like i have um, a planner where I write down like there's a morning routine for me to write down and then there's also a night routine. I can consistently do the morning routine, but the night routine I struggle with writing down those things. But I think that in the times that I have done it, it added such structure to my life that I really enjoyed. And today is just one of those days where I feel like I just don't possess the bandwidth nor the mental capacity to really do anything else. Normally my days will end at like, they can end whenever I really want them to, but midnight even, or even later, but today I am going to just clock out. So when I get home, which is only three minutes away from where I currently am right now, I'm going to record my podcast immediately, which will take me about 30 minutes, maybe 40, depending on what it is that I'm talking about, and send that over to Jordan. Podcasts are my favorite thing to do ever. I love recording my podcast. So. I'm actually excited about that. That has nothing to do with anything. It's just that I feel just like a little le like drained today on my energy, but I loved my makeup. I loved my hair. In fact, I'm going to replicate this exact look and wear this exact wig tomorrow again. And I also want to try something new where I uh, do my makeup even earlier. Cause you know, when you do your makeup like before you know, noon and you do it in the morning, you really do feel like extra prepared for the day. So I want to just nurture myself today and just like be done with my podcast, be in bed by 11. I'm so excited to shower and get in bed with my brand new fresh sheets and just like melt away and disintegrate and like watch a show to get my mind off of things. Um, and that's what's gonna help in times like this. So that is the end of this vlog angels I kind of wanted to come up with a new closing statement and then we can return back to that one when we do like my regular sit-down videos I don't know. We'll see anyways at this current moment This will be the closing statement Do not forget that I love you and God loves you and I'll see you beautiful angels tomorrow in my next vlog. Duh Mwah.